When did you get your first toys? When did you actually know what the toy was in your hand? Oh, that's a cowboy, a toy soldier, or this or that. That's what it was for me. And since that time, the toy soldiers went from here to there, the toy bucks got bigger, there we are. My name is William Gasser. I'm the retired director but founder of American Armored Foundation Tank and Ordnance War Memorial Museum. Back in my day, you had all kinds of veterans with Tangier, a helmet that nobody wanted, or a bayonet or something. When I played Army with the neighborhood kids, they all came to my house and we played with real guns. The first real armored vehicle I had was a Daimler Dingo armored car. And I made a real nuisance out of myself. For about four years, I drove it to every bar, place you could go, even took it to the police department to get myself fingerprinted and pulled up the door with a machine gun on the top. Back in the days, we could do it. You wouldn't do that anymore. But the first tank was actually an M5 Stewart tank that I bought out of a junkyard, and I put it in my front yard. Big mistake. Middle of the night, brakes screeching, people backing up, taking out cameras going, I can't believe what I saw in the front yard. I had to put it in the backyard. But that was my first tank, and it just never stopped after that. What is my favorite piece? The smaller the items, the more cool they are to me. I like the things that were made by somebody for somebody else. Typically, a private or somebody makes it for their general in their retirement. The prized piece in the whole collection that I have, it's a baby shoe. One of our past tankers hung from his gun sight. It's a good luck charm. All beat up with towns of England written all over it. Totally worthless to me, priceless, because I know where it was. Those are the things that really, really, really get me all excited and warm inside. Every day here is Memorial Day. Long ago, I realized the formula is not the mechanical device. It's not a technology museum. It's about people. That's the things that affect me. It's not just the big mechanical clunkers. That's all cool. But when you put it in the context with the soldiers, then you get a story. And the story wrenches you right here. It's not here in the eyes. You want to hit them. You want to hit them in the heart. And that's what we do here. And we do a pretty good job of it. I think the finest compliment this museum ever got, and it's only happened a few times, but it's happened, is when a soldier cries. Nothing, nothing is more richer and enlightening than getting it right, right from the person who is there. I've had every type of American you can imagine here, every race, color, creed, age, it doesn't matter. I can't remember a day there wasn't somebody here that was a veteran. I don't remember the exact quote, but everybody knows it. Those who forget the past are condemned to relive it. American Armored Foundation is here to honor all tank and cavalrymen from all nations and time periods. They all went to war thinking they were gonna win and God was on our side. I have been blessed with a wife that can put up with my insanity. I have a daughter-in-law and two sons that have been drafted into the museum. In my son's case, they grew up here in diapers. They were in cribs standing next to tanks and playing on them, and the toys got larger and larger. My family is totally committed to this, and probably for working here, they should be committed.